Hi everyone, Gabriella here with Rebound Yoga and this is our second video today. This is going to be a practice that we are doing lying down or sitting down, so we're not going to get on our feet today. Um, it's a yin practice basically to just relax and lengthen our muscles, open up um, the hips and just basically relax after a workout or any any time of the day. I really find it very relaxing to be on the rebounder and just, you know, have this little bounce while I'm um, mm, stretching and, and doing yoga. Um, so let's just get right down to it. And we're going to start um, just basically lying down. Okay, just basically lying down on, on the rebounder. Place your head in a way that is comfortable for you and keep your um, thighs close to the belly. Uh, balasana, lying baby pose. And we're just going to relax here and start breathing. So breathing is a, a big part of this and um, trying to breathe deeply. And every time I inhale, I try to extend the belly, even if it's difficult because there's the weight of the legs on the belly. So this is very relaxing for us. It engages the vagal nerve. So just uh, breathe and relax and release a little bit um, the lumbar spine. Make sure that your shoulders are relaxed. So now you might be here where I am 
some of you might be more flexible and a bit further down some of you might be less flexible and you are somewhere here it really doesn't matter where you are as long as you're breathing and as long as you're connecting to this stretch in the back of the legs and then after this we're just going to release the posture and open up the thighs open the knees and see if we can come into happy baby pose and start rocking a little bit on this beautiful rebounder and just feeling the softness underneath our spine. A rebounder is nice because it's soft, but it's also solid at the same time. So I find it very comfortable. Okay, and what we're going to do now is we're going to cross our ankles, keep our knees open. Okay, take the rebounder here and just gently roll left and right with the knees. Okay, so make sure that your shoulders and shoulder blades stay down on the rebounder. Do not lift them up. And just simply roll to the left, to the right, breathing slowly and evenly. Again, you can close your eyes, feel the movement, feel the gentle rolling and rotation of the spine. Just relax, relax into the movement without hurry without haste without this thing that i'm gonna do this i'm gonna finish this i have to do this or that after this just stay present with your body part of the rebounder and bring our both arms up like here and catch our elbows like this and then just slowly slowly begin to rock left and right with the elbows so just the elbows are rolling this is now the thoracic thoracic spine so here we are just moving our shoulders lifting up one shoulder try to keep both hips down the floor or on the rebound or rather this is actually a practice you can also do on the floor of course and just just do this Okay, let's do it two more times each side. I'm breathing slowly. As you see also the head rolls, which is really nice for the neck. So we're going to stop here and then come back a little bit to Balasana to child pose and relax a little bit the shoulders also the neck you can try to bring your chin down towards the chest and lengthen the neck And once we have released the stress here in the, in the spine, we're going to do the dead bug. The dead bug is wonderful. 
I lift up my two legs and I lift up my two arms. Just like this, parallel like a dead bug, lying. And then I'm gonna close my eyes and just feel my spine and let everything go down towards the mat, down towards this soft mat. I'm gonna let go my shoulders, my spine, my hips, pelvic area. Now you will find that this is easier said than done. It's really hard to relax all these areas while you are in that bug because the legs and the arms are activating the muscles they are activated and, and so those activated muscles automatically activate the muscles of the spine as well the shoulders and the, and the hips so you really have to bring your mindfulness to the spine to the shoulders and to your hips and just release everything down towards the mat. And every time you feel that something is getting stressed again or activated again there, you just let it go again. too difficult you can bend your legs a little bit more you can bend your arms a little bit more you can even place your hands on your knees and just let everything go this is a modified version of the dead bug slowly I'm connecting to my breath and then slowly slowly I'm going to release the posture the legs and let's put down our feet so Right now, the last part of our practice, we're just going to lengthen our body. Look what I'm doing. I'm, I'm putting my feet down on the floor and inhaling, I'll bring up my arms, I'll stretch out. I can even stretch out my legs forward. They're on the floor that you might not see them on the video. gonna breathe here stretching don't worry about your lumbar spine is now slowly or lightly lifting off the mat so there's a bit of distance here between the mat and the lumbar spine that's okay don't worry about that you can Try to push it down towards the mat for a second, the slumber spine. I have now pushed it down, exhaling, and then inhaling, I release it again. I lengthen, I lift up the lumbar spine. Now there's space, arch my back, space between the spine. And the mat, and then exhaling, I'm gonna put it down, place it on the mat again, bringing my belly in. Also, observe what happens in the shoulders here. Inhaling, I'm gonna lift it up again. Open my shoulders, shoulders open a little bit more, exhaling down again. The beautiful work on the shoulders and the spine. 
and then for the last time, inhaling and lift up the spine, shoulders open a bit more, arms straight and exhaling, I just release everything and go back baby pose, balasana, supta balasana, close my eyes and breathe, just relax, relax your shoulders, and then to finally relax, just put your feet on the metal part of the rebound and maybe open up your thighs and just relax in Shavasana. Thank you very much for being with me today. Don't forget subscribe my channel I'm gonna post the video every Sunday this was a level one yin practice to release tension in our spine hips and shoulders so thank you very much see you soon